Namaste. My name is Rui Zimmer, I'm International Meditation Master. Today I want to speak... Oh, I forgot it. No. <laughs> the remedy of regrets. I got this solution for you. Imagine you are married with an awful spouse that makes your life suffering like crazy and then you separate and then you regret the time with this person together. No? Then you imagine your parents have chosen for you the perfect spouse and then comes my questions would be your life with this perfect spouse happier would you live a more fulfilled life would you live a happy marriage would you live an awesome life because your parents have chosen the best partner for you. Mm, I know it. Next question. Why you do have chosen in the first place that awful person to become your spouse. Because of your experience and traumas of your childhood, you have chosen this partner. If you would have an awesome childhood with lovely parents. I don't mean your idealized childhood. I don't mean that. I mean with truly lovely parents that would you serve at best. Would you have choose in this case that awful spouse? And now comes the psychology, for sure to 100%, 99.999% not. It is proved that you choose because of your experience in your childhood and of your traumas in your childhood, your spouse and because of your parents. You choose a spouse that is similar to your parents. And this is nearly true for every marriage. So you have chosen it because of your experience and traumas in your childhood. And you say, no, 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 it, it was a coincidence. This coincidence is never true. There never have existed any coincidence. Everything happens for a reason. Don't get me that. Give me that. I don't believe it. Because I hear it again and again. There exist only coincidences. And psychology is always wrong. So. And now comes the same question. If your parents have chosen the ideal partner for you, would you have a happy life and so on? For sure not. For all things, no happy marriage, no. We repeat our childhood, our experience, our traumas in 
our childhood. And we repeat them in our marriage to be aware, to get awareness of what has happened during this time. Regardless how you say it also. We repeat it, nothing more. Our normal life is just a rep repetition of our childhood. If you would have the best partner in the world, you would, would make this partner awful. It just depends on you and of your childhood. And nobody can choose for you better. Because you will get in any case the same experience. I was together with drama magnets and they like to manipulate me so that I should act badly. And they tried their best, but you cannot be all the time aware what your stupid spouse are doing with you. At the end, they got what they wanted. Okay, you think this just one, okay. Do you know over and jealous people have had an over jealous spouse? He will prove or she will prove you always that you had slept with the other partner during their time together. They are addicted to that. Can you change that? No, but they can change it. And, and to go out of this is only one thing possible. To make a body and feelings oriented therapy. To get rid of your traumas so that you don't have to relive them in your, in your marriage. To get a happy marriage. You cannot manipulate the external environment if the internal environment is manipulating the external. Regardless how you try it out, you just lie to yourself. It never depends on the external world. It depends always, only from what is inside of yourself. And that you get always without any exception. And there is no co-accident. Okay. And for this is CRP. Okay. So you don't have to regret that you got this and this experience. You got it because it was inside of yourself. So you cannot regret anything. You got what you have deserved. Not only you, also me, everybody else. Okay. Thank you that I could speak about that and bye.